Thank you, Juana, for joining us. You are now in New York, right? Yes, How's yes. How's the weather there? It's, it's nice. It's nice. It's warm. You know, like we value a lot when it's warm because it's yeah. cold for too long. <laughs> but now it's good. So let's start, Anna. The stage is yours. Go ahead. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, so I'm going to tell a little bit about, you know, our journey and why, how we got here. So uh, I'm Ana Constantino. I'm from Brazil. I moved to New York 12 years ago, and then I met this guy uh, through a coincidence. He was an artist, and we decided to create together a company called the Windmill Factory. And we designed shows for bands. We designed um, experiences. We were experience designers for this 12 years. We designed like um, brand experiences and uh, conferences. So we were pretty much like creating how people would be immersed in art in unpredictable situations. And uh, one of our clients was the movement New Public right before the pandemic and reach out to us. So they wanted to launch the, this movement that was to talk about how can we create healthier public spaces online based that uh, this day, you know, like a lot of the conversations happen on Twitter, Facebook, on our, these platforms become our public plazas. And they, they have this theory of like, how can we look at the knowledge that has been developed of years, you know, like centuries, thousands of years of developing public life and get the knowledge to design healthier public spaces online that will support democracy instead of hindering it. So we were hired to design this conference that would take like three days in the Bay Area. So we went deep into the subject, interview a bunch of people, created workshops because it was a whole collaborative process of how this conference would happen. And then COVID came. The conference was supposed to happen on May 2020. Uh, and in March, obviously, as everything else was canceled, every other project we had for the year was canceled. And we decided, like the client came to us as like a, and asked us, how can we do it online? And we started to see the options of how we could, you know, like create an event online. Uh, and the options were basically, or we would be trapped in boxes as we are right now, literally, um, but we would have the video connection uh, that we liked because we saw everyone going to video and how much that offers a possibility for a face-to-face -face interaction, right? And the other option was going to 3D environments where it allows for serendipity, allows for, you know, like discovery and uh, deciding, turning a person more an agent of their own experience instead of being passive. But most of the options out there were behind avatars and we, we, we thought that that would like lack the human connection. So we decided to create our own space and we also didn't feel inspired by the options that were out there. They were either very corporate or very gamey. And we were like, well, we are artists. We would like to have more and nothing in between. Yeah, we couldn't find good options in between. So we were decided to, to, you know, create our own technology and our own solution. Um, and this is nowhere. So like, let me just tell you, bef like before we start, I'm gonna just quickly show a little video. Oh, can you allow me to share uh, my screen? Okay. So just want to share yeah. a little video so of- Some assistance okay. from okay. Yeah, everybody is already working on it. And I believe, you can look now. Yeah, so this is like a some of the work we did with the windmill factory that can, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if the audio is going through, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think the audio is going through, but visually you can have a sense of like some of the shows with design, some of the installations. Oh. Yes, and this, this was your previous project with your partner, right? Yeah, that was yeah. the company we had for 10 years. Uh, it was based in New York, but like, uh, you know, pretty much we created projects all over the world. Uh, you know, like 
installations for festival this was the designing um mm -hmm. the stage design for nine inch nails um uh, and we designed for metric and cool. some other bands interactive installations this was a theremin of light that we created so people would control this massive you know like lights that would go 30 feet i don't know like i don't very high this was a you know performance installation that the walls would move on this uh you know like we we always also always our work would think about not just who is on the stage but the audience so like that installation that we did in a festival was very much of like how can we put the audience with the feeling of being on the stage so yes. the lighting and like for example this one that was um a design we did for Sampa the Great, we had a massive cape that would go over the audience and would break out on smaller capes. The concept was her music was a, everybody is a hero, it was for Red Bull and, and Sampa that. And then, mm -hmm. so we would have capes that would be on top of the audience. Everyone would break, get one and leave with their own uh, capes. So, you know, like it was always like, a, this was like a, a movie uh, that we made in real life, like a, you know, it was a theater piece that would create a movie at the same time. So it was always like how the audience is inside, immersed in whatever media we are creating. Uh, this is like the conference design. Mm -hmm. This, you know, and it like was this, part of this experience. Yeah, so these were all different projects that we created for different clients. Uh, so, for example, this last conference was the feast. It was a conference that happened here in New York. Um, and and the way that we designed was always like with a story. You know, it was always creating a journey. So it was like, okay, so there is this conference, but like, what do we want people to feel? How do we want them to connect? And then we would yeah. uh, create with that in mind from the beginning until the end, tying, you know, like a through line that would go through the whole experience, you know, so that would create better relationships uh, between the audience. The, guests and participants and we always like a you know like this relationship between who is on the stage and the audience we always design to to decrease the distance right yes. to, to put them together so that all said you know like of nowhere came about of like okay so how can we design our own uh space and so in the beginning of the pandemic we put together a team like a basically ourselves and a friend that was an engineer to create a prototype, another friend that was a 3D designer to create an environment. And uh, now maybe we should go there. And then we start touring from the space. And then I show you a couple of the spaces we created so far and how it works. And uh, just like to bring up like that, we started designing this in May 2020. And um, at that point like metaverse was not a thing that people were talking yeah. about <laughs> we you know like so for us we were saying oh we are figuring out how to be together better socially online um and then like it suddenly became like this wave and took yes. us because it's kind of like oh yeah great so now there is a, a everyone is talking about yes what we what we are doing you know like and we it's easier because in the beginning it was really hard to explain actually but now it's easier to explain but at the same time like everyone is trying to figure out what it is and trying to do something um you know like it, it's still it's still very much i feel like a, in the in the early stages which creates a lot of um opportunities noise. yes opportunities but at the same time and noise uh, yeah noise yes yes it is it is and 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 i guess like uh, people are trying to understand what you know like is it a real estate thing it is a you know like a, a utility thing so it's still very much being defined and different platforms are approaching it differently um but also like uh, i think like the more I develop and spend time on it, I, I see how much of an opportunity for design overall. Like, for example, we are we are having a design competition now for worlds 
Uh, so that's one, like, uh, we say, like, kind of like a... Um, you are, a you are having this event in nowhere now? Well, it's a, no, we are having the competition, is, it's open. So people are submitting their worlds. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, in two weeks, I think it's going to end two, yeah, two weeks, it's going to end the submission time. And then the worlds that were submitted will be open for people to vote and decide which one they like the most. The theme is like a performance venue. Um, but this is to say like, I there are, I guess, like a jobs that don't even, uh, were defined like a architects of metaverse right or you know event planners for metaverse events and then things that producers don't... engineers architects the whole thing yeah. in the metaverse yeah exactly <laughs> so and it and they are new skills you know like because it's not just translating what we do in real life and and making a copy but understanding of like how this new media of new way of interacting, you know, will play out. So there's a lot of opportunities that I feel like in like content creators or all of all sorts can see the metaverse of opportunity to create things on it. But yeah, I would like to invite you guys to go there. So I will share the here link. the link. Yeah. Okay. I will share here uh, in the chat the link with everyone. And now Anna is inviting everyone to migrate to the metaverse that's entered nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so you all can like uh, sign up if you want or uh, come in as a guest. You're gonna want to click and this link. In the meanwhile, I'm just going to share the space here so the ones that could enter the session can also join us or see us here in Zoom but we will migrate or commute to nowhere now. I am, I am. I'm already in. And I will unmute myself here in Zoom so that I don't have two mics open at the same time. Otherwise, it will be strange. <laughs>
And uh, I think we can start. I think the audio is not working. Not work. is very much created to um very much created to oh wait a minute now i'm hearing myself and an echo cool. wait a minute now i'm hearing myself and an echo cool. um i think it's because of the zoom that i'm there but Let me move out from Zoom. Wait a second. All right, solved. So here, uh, as I was telling you, you know, like this is um, a feature we created very much because a lot of people that are coming to know where are performers, uh, you know, like musicians, comedians, and uh, from our field, and like, uh, how can we design? places for culture to happen online, talks as well, but like uh, entertainment. So that's a new feature that just came out to take the stage. Um, and any questions so far? I just talked a bunch of things. If you have a question, jump or press the, press the plus key. So you're gonna amplify yourself, you're gonna be amplified. Yes. So ask me the question. Mm -hmm. 
in which um, Mafalda, do you have a question? I'm not hearing you. I don't know if you're, it's because the sound, maybe you are on I'm Zoom. I'm in you're... everywhere, not in the metaverse, but in the metaverse and Zoom, I'm everywhere now. And <laughs> uh, can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. Yes, I can hear you. So, a little bit. At what, uh, I could hear you. How yes. does your experience, your former experience in creating events and, and all that 360 experience uh, helped you uh, to, to design this metaverse? I hear you very, very far away. I don't know if there's the fact, I don't know, your mic is, or is everyone? Okay, I guess she's refreshing. Do you have any questions? I see you are amplified. Um, I do. I, I can see you guys. Oh, V as in Victor. Okay. Okay, I got it. So that's a intentional thing that we created in Aware. It's um, so people are looking at yourself. So uh, we designed Aware without having. The, the whole time the camera on for using yourself. You can see the lighting and if you are on frame, but then with relation. Um, can you? And it's this. Did you talk uh, like Genesis? Did you? Do you want to? Uh, I don't know, she was talking, but I don't know if she, I don't think that she wanted to ask any questions. So did, does anyone have any questions so far? Or maybe let's move to the next phase. It's our portals. And then let's go to the base. The base is for me showing up on the fourth row uh the column on the third row the base secret citadel click on it and it's gonna ask if you want to leave the space and go to the base and say yep let's go and i see you there
there are two people there. You can see there's a do and the base, and let's go to the base. There's a do and the base, and let's go to the base. And I would like to ask people that are on Zoom and here to mute yourself, either here or stop the audio there, just because it's, I'm hearing an echo because there's the two uh, feeds. Or just uh, stay here instead of uh, being a both. Uh, Just to reiterate what Anu was saying, if you press your P key, P as in portal, P as in Penelope, P as in people. Um, um, all of the portal. Click on that space and you press the button, yep, let's go. You will portal over there. Um, P as in portal. P as in people. It may take a while for the uh, different spaces to load, but you should see one that says the base. Again, for me, it's showing up in the fourth column over. Um, you may also be able to see it by the fact that there are other people in it. Able to see it. Um, I should say there are like four active people. Um, so just click on the card that says the base secret citadel, and then yep, let's go. And you'll head over there. P as in portal, pressing P as in portal on your keyboard, and then choosing the world that says the base secret citadel. Um, Yep, let's go, and you'll you'll head over there. If you have any questions, um, you may be mute if you're having trouble seeing it or don't know what to do. Your arrow is not working. Not working. W is not working. Click on the the screen of nowhere. Yeah, yes. you're moving. No, I'm moving. I Thank you're moving. you. Yes. So. Yes, you're welcome. So use your arrow keys to move yes. forward, like the top key or W, and come in. W, and come in. Again, just because of the echo that is generating because of Zoom and here. But if you want to, if anyone wants to ha um, ask any questions, please uh, feel free to drop them. Arrived people, please move forward into the space. Come here, follow me.
You're going to hear me better. So um, this space, the base, was the first space we created in the beginning of the pandemic, was our interpretation of like what, what would be a bar online, right? Because um, one of the conversations of like, where are we going to gather? Where, where are we going to, you know, like have social time with our friends? And then the this was our interpretation of a nice place to be. It's a funny story because our first um, prototype, actually, our first model, it was literally a bar. And then when we saw that, we realized that we actually, you know, like would feel more frustrated to be in a place that would try to replicate real life, but will never replicate the real life instead of uh, um, creating something that we we could do beyond, you know, like a, that would not create in real life. So we decided to go to that route of like the more fantastic imagination. Uh, and this is the base with like some aspects of art installations as well. The big screen, the base is behind me. So I can just uh, gonna quickly show you where the screen is, but um, so you have an idea. So that's the big screen. So a lot of performances happen here at the base. Uh, there are like open mics, talks and shows. Um, and it's also a space that has um, some hidden spaces. Every space in Aware also has some hidden spaces for discovery. So I'm gonna go down. Uh, yes, I, I invite everyone to come here and enter this tunnel and come downstairs and we're going to go to a little journey through this space to see different perspectives. So using your arrow keys, please navigate into the sun on oh my Yeah, so this is intimate space where like Send this banana and then we're gonna see each other i'm gonna go click on the banana here and uh let's uh move to the bottom side which is uh, above the tunnel Like I see that there are some people that for some reason, I guess, got stuck on the entrance. But like uh, from here, you can see if there is a show or something like people uh, hanging out downstairs. And it's a, it's a way of like having a different perspective from uh, the environment, right? I see someone floating very ambitiously trying to get in here. Um, yeah, so that's actually a good call to remind us like of the controls. If you press the number one, you can do a little spin. If you press the space bar, you can jump. And if you press the number two, there are hearts. 
And those are like ways that start to have some gestures in the platform, you know, like because sometimes once, you know, there's a talk or something, uh, people are on mute or they want to express it themselves uh, through gestures. And this is the beginning of uh, introduction of how gestures can work here. Um, so let's jump back down and we can jump and fly back down so we uh open the floor for some questions down there follow me here jump and move forward and you're gonna come back down all right back here i would like to ask if anyone has any questions at this point if you have any questions please jump you yes yes i hear you but i don't i don't see you <laughs> yeah um but i don't know if you're like a considering it's a design school any questions anything that uh, came up or should we go to a different space different space Let's go to a different room. um Okay, so her question was, uh, how complex is to create a space like this, and uh, how much work, and, and um, if there are templates. So uh, to create a space like this, is like a 3D right artist, I have, you know, like obviously I'm not a 3D artist, so I don't know what really, you know, would take out how to create, but 3D artists usually take about four to six weeks to create a space with this level of complexity and um but it really depends on the artists and all that the ways that the worlds in nowhere are built they are built in blender and then uh we also create a plugin so people can create their own worlds go through the plugin and then that way they can see how it's going to look like in the nowhere engine at the same time they are creating because like a nowhere was designed to be an easy platform and accessible so we currently you know like fit more than like a many other platforms so like a, with video in the same space because we created are very very light to work on browsers and different computers so well, uh, people can start creating and seeing how it looks once they get happy with the design they created they can submit to us and we bring to the platform so that's how it works with 3d artists creating custom worlds but we have ourselves 12 13 different uh, types of worlds that people can select from and start hosting right away. So anyone can go to our website, uh, you guys already have an account, go to get my free space. From there, you can like just have your own room and start hosting and using a meeting room or event space by yourself. So that's uh, 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 like the free spaces, they go up to 50 people. But if you have something that you want to design for more, you know, like, oh, I want to host an event for more people, we can talk about how can make it happen, and expand the rooms or connect, mo connect multiple rooms together. But yes, creating a space like this, I guess it's complex, uh, but depends really from the artists, how, how complex it's going to be for them. Some people create worlds in a few days. I see that there's someone amplified here, Mafalda. Great. Yes, yes. Yeah, we have 13 types of environments that people can just yes uh, select from the list and start hosting right away and then the community is creating more you know like over time the idea is like to become a marketplace we don't 
want to be the ones creating worlds. We want to be, you know, like the place of housing worlds that other people create, you know, and be the bridge between artists and people that need spaces in the metaverse. Oscar, I saw you jumping. You can amplify. Let me amplify you. You're gonna see a request to amplify. You can click on that and amplify. Okay, great. May could you please repeat how can we host a meeting in this metaverse you've created? Sure. Um, you, you, Oscar, I'm gonna mute yourself just because I believe that a. Uh, it's coming from uh, um, um, so it's very easy. You can um, or you already created your account in nowhere. So if you're in another tab, you have like a, you just click now that you are nowhere. It's going to open on your backstage of your account. And there you're going to see, yeah, you know, like a, or either is going to have a button on the top right saying get my free space, a green button. Or if not, on your ho you're gonna have like a host area, where if you click, it's gonna have already a space created with your name, and that's your private space. So on that space, if you add, decide to edit that space, it's gonna show you. You can edit the name, you can edit the type of environment, and then that link for your space is unique. So if you grab the link and share with your friends you know like uh, you're gonna enter that and people will enter with you and meet on your space you can customize that space upload images and do whatever you want you're welcome <laughs> and then if you press the x key everyone you can see that there is a events page where where um, people can create their events and submit. This is a public to everyone that, um, you know, comes within the platform. We also get information from here and usually send out new Sorry, I had an internet glitch here. I disappeared for a second and came back. Sorry for that. But on the X is the events page. So people can submit their own events in Nowhere and promote to the Nowhere community. And uh, we get the information from there also put on a newsletter that goes out weekly. So if anyone wants to host, host events in Nowhere, you know, I encourage you also if it's an open or there are tickets, you know, it's a public event, so you can put it there, or you can just host your private events, uh, just grabbing the link and sending out to whoever you want to invite. Anything else that we, do we wanna go to another space before we leave? <laughs> So let's press the B key and let's go to the New York City is the sixth borough. For me, it's showing up on the first column on the bottom left, like um, sixth borough, New York City. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to this room. So this space uh, was the second, no, it was the third space we created. Um, and it was created in um, commissioned by the New York City 
mayor's office for media and entertainment. Uh, they asked us to create an environment um, that would support a festival that could not happen in real life. It was a theater festival. Here in New York City, uh, there is always in uh, January this festival called Gen Arts, which is like uh, one of the biggest festivals in the world where we gather a bunch of like APAP, which is a smaller festival within this festival. So uh, where everyone comes to show their place to be bought to for tours. And 2020, that could not happen. Uh, so they discovered us in 2021, they held the festival here. So this was kind of like the green room. So people from different festivals, they would have their own space, but they would open and do um, parties together and watch things together on the big screen. The big screen here, it's behind me on this billboard. And also this uh, environment, so it was based on New York City. You can see the 360 images from New York City and this reference of like uh, warehouses and uh, there is a hidden library downstairs and rooftop and this uh, water tower is a, um, it's a homage to um, artists called Tom Fruin. There is a plaque with his name inside. He's a New York based artist that creates work with glass. So yeah, so this is the Six Borough. It's the one that you actually this currently it's the the space you get right away once you choose to create your free space. And but you can change to another one, right? But this is the one that everyone gets right away if you don't change. Um, there is something that I didn't mention to you guys that it's nice to explore, which is clicking on each other's face. I'm going to ask you to click on each other's face, not on mine because I'm amplified, but look at someone else in the space and click on them and see if you see uh, their name comes down and a little, but, uh, a little card on the top right. That little card is going to invite you to connect. Once you connect with each other, it's kind of like a gesture of exchanging business cards. And um, with that, you, if you press the O key, the business, it's my orbit. And then that's going to show up the card of someone that you have exchanged with. Uh, my audio, there's a lot of echo. I don't know. I think the echo, if there is echo going on here, it's because of the Zoom situation. But I'm not hearing any echo from anyone. Any questions? Feel free to explore the space. The space has like a book that you can click on it and go to the library and from the library that is like a secret book that it will take you to the rooftop or you can like walk through the ramp and go up to the rooftop like here oops anyway it's not very successful going through the ramp but you can fly to Oscar, I'm I'm asking you to amplify it. So I just said something, but I couldn't hear you. Unmute yourself, please. I uh, just wanted to know where this book was because I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. Let's go there together because it is hidden. Follow me here. Okay. So this book, there is a book here near this column. Here. Do you guys see a book here near me on this other side? 
yeah, click on the book. Yeah, this book in here. Do you see the book, Oscar? Yes, I did. You're welcome. So this is the book that takes us downstairs. Um, let me go back down. Um, Oscar, let me bring you back down and I will go down to Okay, so follow me here. And then here it's where the secret passage brings us to upstairs. Here, here, here. Let me do it. So on the bottom there is like a a book that feels like a that's coming out of the bookshelf. It's on the second to bottom layer, like shelf. There's a book that is kind of like falling out, the orange book side on the side. So if you pass your um, mouse track on the top of it, it's going to become a little hand. And if you click on it, that's going to take you to the rooftop. So uh, yeah, you have to pass through the, like coming from the second shelf on the bottom, there is a little back in the grounds. So, um, any other questions, um, Pedro, Mafalda? Anything else we should? Uh, I'm lost. Talk through. <laughs> You're lost. Let me amplify. You're lost. I'm here with the Zulu and then another. Please press your plus. Please key press so your amplify. plus key so you amplify it because I'm not hearing you loud enough. Now, you, can you hear me now? You. Okay, yeah, you know. I hear you now. Okay, I'm lost because I came downstairs to see the. And you couldn't find. And you couldn't to... find how to come up. Let me do. Let me tell you something. Press, press the nine key. All right. So. Now you're back up. That's a shortcut to come up if you don't find the. The book. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we, 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 we recommend people to use computers instead of mobile um, because we'd start developing first for computers, but we are focusing a lot into improving mobile, you know, because uh, for us is like a, uh, one of the main things for us is accessibility. We want to be a place where everyone is welcome and is able to, you know, come in. So, and we know that, you know, like even more like uh, in third world countries, like uh, I'm Brazilian. So like I'm saying like newer computers are super expensive. So people end up having more access to phones to, to than new phones than, than computers. So we want to, you know, make it both accessible to both. But currently we still like recommend people 
people to come by computers if possible. Well, yes, yes, but we basically we yeah, we we started opening for people to have their own space like in December last year. So it's been like about six months per se. Um and we have about fifteen thousand people uh, in the system. So we still yeah, we're still very new, very babies. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 uh, you know, like, it's funny because we are like very new. If people, people that have been developing tech, once they see where we are, usually they are surprised with our progress, you know, but at the same time, us that are developing are like, oh my God, it's so slow, even more because we are non-technical founders so we just want to think to like we dream we wanted to exist but that's real not the reality right it takes time to build and to build a team to build a team remote during the pandemic and it all is like a you know and understanding what the product wants you be and where it wants to go so it all takes time so yeah so you're still you know, about 15,000 people. There are people using every day. There are people using for their own like meetings or uh, events. Uh, number of events, we don't track that because it's really, you know, like they're, they're the events they are on the that events page. The events page launched like, I guess, a month ago. It's a new feature as well. But um, we don't, we're not tra tracking. But uh, actually, I think like since it launched, actually, we, we had about more than 100 events on the page. But that doesn't mean that people are not hosting their own events. They're not public, you know, and then they don't put it there. and even yeah. like group meetings yeah it's actually it, it is interesting like we just got um, uh, a testimonial from um, a guy from uh, here in New York that they discovered nowhere in the middle of pandemic through someone from our network so they held their end of year um, art show like for their students in nowhere and this year they are back in person like hybrid but they hardly know where again because people really like the experience you know like so they can amplify the groups can amplify present their thing go back down and then see each other's work you know put on a gallery build a gallery with the works and all that so it and and for education you know i really see a lot of potential for education because you can do workshops here very easily because you can break out people in groups and then join them together. We do that, facilitate conversations on our meetings and how we manage our company like that all the time. So it's very easy to create dynamic conversations. So um, you there downstairs, I would suggest you press the nine key to come up. Yes, fantastic. So there was a lot of people downstairs. <laughs> so yes, yeah, fantastic. So I guess we are everyone upstairs now. Oh, currently, yeah, but product managers. Yeah, so we have an engineering team, a product team um the product team today like we don't even have a 3d designer we now have a, like a actually we do have a junior 
but because we developed this world and this, you know, like a, with the contractors, because we, as I mentioned, like our idea is to become a platform for other people's worlds, not necessarily just us creating worlds. So um, we focus more on engineering on building the product and building the world builder tool for other people to create. So we have a strong engineering team, we have a product team and a community team. Basically that's how it's structured and uh, executive team, which is like me and two other people are partners. But as a startup, we all hair, uh, wear multiple hair, uh, hats, so sorry. We are like uh, all over the place and we are taking care of everything that dump. <laughs> yes, uh, you know, startups, I guess. But yeah, basically it's that, it's engineering, des um, product slash design and community slash marketing, you know, operations. Mm hmm Absolutely. Yes, well, before that, I would like to invite you guys, whoever wants to keep like traveling through other worlds and discover other worlds, you can press the P key and jump to the other worlds. If not, the way to leave is just closing, you know, your tab as you close a website. It feels, it's a funny perception that we are in a space together, but you know, like just close your browser and you're gone. Otherwise, feel free to press the P key and navigate to other spaces. Thanks for coming. Thank you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank bye, you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.